my name is Lokashe Mahmudro. I am from Samritz and I am 80 years old. My name is Larry. I am from here, Sunday. And I am 18 years old. My name is Mary. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Sunday. I'm Jason Alarek. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Sunday. And I'm secondary three. I'm Michael Cameron Jr. I'm 16 years old from St. Louis, Quebec. My name is Jonas Savitrup and I'm 17 year old and I'm from St. Louis. The population of St. Louis is around 1400. It's a small town. There's it's isolated place. There's no roads going out of St. Louis. The only way to travel is by plane. And it is located near Hudson Bay, Nunavut, Quebec. I was probably 14 years old when I started running. It was during the summer. I wanted to quit smoking cigarettes and start getting more healthy. So as I was training, Maggie introduced me to more serious running into bigger competitions. So I took it a bit more seriously than I did before. My name is Maggie McDonnell and I am one of the coaches and co-founders of the Salawit Run Club. We started the Salawit Run Club to give people in Salawit an opportunity for a healthy recreational activity to do. And every year we try to aim for to participate in one larger event or race to keep every to keep everybody motivated and to have something to work around or work towards. And uh, over the last couple of years, we've gone to the Blue Nose three times. And this is our biggest event yet. We're going all the way to Hawaii, and we're taking seven people from Salwood to participate, and all of them will be taking on the distance of a half marathon. For youth in Salwood uh, to live, it's pretty hard. Everything is more expensive, shelter and more food. Families are pretty big too, so housing is pretty hard. And sometimes when the heating doesn't work, we have to call the electrician. And it's pretty hard to get this. Uh, and there's a lot of people who drink alcohol and smoke weed and abuse kids. So fights. And there's a lot of bullying too. So I wish you could change. There's suicides too. I mean, there's a lot, there's, there's quite a bit of suicides going on right now. We had a very bad month so far and we'll try and keep going, right? Teenage life is kind of tough for me because I work part time. Technically, I'm replacement at a youth house, but I am kind of responsible for my creative in, in activities at the youth house for the children. Um, uh, I'm gonna say there is 98% that drop out of school in my ages because uh, because of the drugs and alcohols and young girls had started to make families at a young age and but to myself I'm kind of proud of myself because uh, I, li I listen to my parents when they tell me to do good things at school and listen to my teachers, so I did, and that's why I mean, I'm still in school at the last year. I mean, I, I lost my uncle to suicide in the 
also my cousin, my coming coming suicide on my birthday. It, it, um, it was the worst day ever, and uh, <clears throat> I also had a friend from who drug who committed suicide also, and it's hard. It makes it hard to think uh, about being happy and all that. Um, so, all the same, um, Maramba, or when the Timira Lake, I was there, how you Maramco, so low, Povaco, Palone, or Maticolone. Naturally, I go running outside and because I want to be healthy and it makes me feel proud when I go further than what I've done in the past because uh, and it mostly makes me feel tired and makes me sleep better too. Um, Uh, I run to relieve stress and to feel better and to get a natural feeling of a, you know, a certain feeling of highness. You, you get it when you run for about 30 to an hour minutes of running. When you run, it gives you a, quite a bit of energy. It's free. You don't need to pay fifty dollars to get high. You can get it just by running. To be healthy, to be active, to have a healthy lifestyle. It's to keep healthy and strong. And to to be healthy, be with sports like basketball makes me feel great. It makes me happy. I lost about 50 pounds. I feel more confident about my weight and I feel more healthy than I did before. At the young age, uh, I used to smoke and uh, I didn't really listen to my parents for, for a little while and uh, They motivated me to make a better future and and uh, everything changed. Um, I didn't know I was gonna get that far, uh, but here I am um, in secondary five, about to graduate. I, I didn't even think I was gonna win the science fair. Um, I didn't think I was going to be that healthy and uh... I traveled to Halifax and ran my first half marathon when I was 14 years old. In 2015, I came in second place in a half marathon in Hawaii. In 2016, I went to Greenland for Arctic Wonder Games. I am so proud of these runners, not just because of all the amazing training they've done in these Arctic winter months, but in addition for all the fundraising they've done 
this group of runners has come together and fundraised over $30,000 to help other Northern youth through a foundation called the Healthy Horizons Foundation. Every week for the last seven months, they've either been busy doing spaghetti dinners, bake sales, movie nights, having raffles, 50-50 draws, or volunteering in their community to fundraise this incredible amount. The proudest moment is that I'm about to finish high school, which uh, my siblings never finished. So I'm going to be the first one to graduate. Proudest accomplishment is running the hills here and running anywhere else. Because before all this, it's like my life was down, but ever since I started running, it has been going higher and higher. Running yourself, you can be proud of who you are and feel relaxed when you run or after you. Like, sleeping feels more comfortable like that. And you know you're going to be fit and healthy. On the first kilometer you run, you're warming up. You feel tired, but you're warm enough. And on the second kilometer, you feel more comfortable. You can run smooth. But on the third kilometer, you know you can run away. You won't feel that tired. And if you're slowing down, you're just getting more tired. The faster you go, the better you are. I've been training hard inside and outside. I go. I, I also go fitness center. I do sports like hockey, soccer, basketball, and other sports. I run uphills, speed run, and long run. We out here training for our half marathon in Hawaii. Huh. I'm feeling good. It's cold though. <laughs>45, all the gems that you want to hear a cut, be down here when you go back into it. Uh, and you and I are going to head out uh, probably at 9 to do all.
right now. 6 a.m. And where are you? Hilo, Hawaii. Yeah, and what are you about to be doing? I'm, I'm about to run a half marathon. Yeah, and how do you feel about this? Are you feeling good or what? Excited. Tell me about it. Excited and nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you running for anybody today? People from my village. Yeah, fantastic. Good luck in that race, Jay. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about where you are right now and what's going on? I'm in Hilo, Hawaii, near the start line, and there's lots of people running through. Yeah. And what are you going to be running in today? I'm going to be running in the half marathon. Fantastic. Uh, do you have any message for uh, people from Salwood who might be cheering you on back home? Uh, I just want to encourage the people in Salwood to be healthy so you can get to places like in Hawaii to run a marathon. Fantastic. Thanks, Mike. Good luck out there. Took a little wave for the crowd. <laughs> How are you feeling? Or can you tell me where you are right now? I'm in the Hawaii Marathon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And uh, what are you gonna do today? Um, I'm gonna run half marathon. Yeah. Fantastic. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> You want to see where are you right now? Hawaii. Hello, Hawaii. <laughs> and what did you just do? I just ran 22 kilometers marathon. And how did you do in your race? I did good. I did good. Can you tell me what your place was? First place. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> you did it. Uh, How I almost did it. You did do it. Say you're swimming. How does that feel? <laughs> Here we are in Hilo, Hawaii, and we're about to do the zip line to celebrate uh, the success of all these runners doing their first 
and for some of them, second or third half marathon. Uh, so we're going to do a two mile zipline course here, and I'm going to ask you how he's feeling about that. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. Wish you luck. Great. You want to see? You got anything to say? Any Very last? Excited. Very excited. What about you, Mike? I am excited. <laughs> great. Jay? Um, I'm feeling a bit nervous. Okay, you're going to do great out there, okay? I see Thomas. I see Thomas. Thomas is somewhere here. How is it? Not too bad. Very good. Good drink. How much was it? 250. 250 fresh coconut. <laughs> cool. You we need to spend time with elders, help them and learn from them. It keeps our culture alive. My message to young youth out there is that follow your dream and don't be afraid to try new things. Sleep well, eat well, be active, keep a healthy lifestyle. Don't give up here. If life gets hard. The message I want to give to the youth in Nunavik is work hard, play hard, and don't commit suicide. It's not the way. You can just stay alive and find a different hobby. If you don't like the way you live, you can change it. You have the mindset and you have the heart. If you ever feel useless or in pain or anybody to talk to, you can uh, reach out your hand for anybody else. Or if you can't get any help from anybody, you can go to soundcloud.com and go listen to my songs. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the room with you? I'm 
Let's be happy that we woke up today. 